Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Returnal is having fatal error crash I mean fatal error crash as well as if you are having exception access violation error which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app So I'm not wasting much time, let me directly get into this So the first step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file So this did work so I have to request you to try this. So for that, you just have to go over here in the Returnal, right click, go to properties, go over here on the local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but this did work. So what happens here is if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. That is the reason why we are recommending all the time the verify integrity of game file so when i do this when i had this error so there was around 800 and something files but when i did this you know they go through all the files and that did work perfectly for me that is why i'm recommending you you can try this out so in the meantime let us move to the next step that is all about we have to install vp9 video extensions for that we need to go to the microsoft store so over here, you just have to search for VP9. It's already there because I shooted a video on this right now. If you're having black screen also, try to install this one particular extension and that will be working fine. So just search for VP9 video extension on the Microsoft Store. And once you're done with this, just open this over here like this. You have to search for VP9 video extension. Now, just if you are for the first time installing this one, you'll be getting an option to get. So here it's already installed. So I'm having open. So I have to open this. I'm not have to or uh, I didn't have to open just download and install this after that uh, Try to launch the game if it's not working then forcefully try for a restarting your PC Then after that this will be working fine. This is what we have to do as the second step Let's move to the next one. That is all about we have to ties. We have to try uh, You know the game or the running the game in the compatibility mode That is what we have to do for that reason. We have to go over here so we can go it in two way the one is from over here, you can try from here itself on the browse where you can navigate to the installation folder or you can directly go from here to the file explorer. So let me click on the browse which is quite easy for you as well. So over here as you can see this is the application folder. So now we have to right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to properties. Over here we have to go to the compatibility and run uh, right now as you can see we have to run the game in the compatibility mode which can be done so over here as you can see we are having compatibility mode this so you have to click on this run this game in the compatibility mode so you can try this for windows 8 windows 7 etc so first try with windows 8 and go for apply and try to play the game if it's not working then just change this to windows 7 go for ok and try to play the game any one of these might be working good so keep in mind you can try with windows 8 and try to play the game try to play the game and that is going to work as well this is what we have to do so even if it's not working then do not worry just make a few change in the same just uncheck what the changes you made over here so i run this game right so uh, remove it everything then go for the next step so next step is all about we have to do is we have to try to launch the game in the window mode and we have to install uh apart from that there is one more thing we have to launch the game in the window mode and there is one more thing that I wanted to make it clear where you can do from the game itself. And that is if you wanted to launch the game, turn off online features and restart the game. So this both thing can be done when you launch the game. For that reason, we need to go to the uh, over here on the returnal. So I have to go to the Steam. I have to click on this. I have to run the game. Then only I'll be able to show you this. So the first one, we have to run the game in the windowed mode. Parallelly, we have to turn off a feature for the online that is going to work. So this particular step did work for most of the users when they tried this. Okay, so uh, around hardly, you know, all the people from the Reddit did mention that this particular step did work. As well as I cross-checked in the Quora, even I talked with, the, I checked in the Steam community. Many people did this and this all did work for them. So let us wait for launching the game.
So first thing what we have to do is we just have to launch the game. After launching the game, we have you just have to follow the instructions what I'm uh, what I'm going to give you as it is over here. So what we have to do is just follow this. That is we have to Okay, we just have to go over here. That means go to settings. When you go to settings first, navigate to gameplay. Over here, as you can see, there is an option called start online. So what we have to do is we just have to disable this. Okay, disable this particular option. And that is very important. Okay, that is why I said we have to turn off start online. So when you disable this, that is going to work as well. Now, after disabling this, we just have to move to the next one. That is over here in the video. We have to go to the display mode. And now we you can see there are two options, two to three options. One is full screen, windowed full screen, windowed option. So try running in windowed compatibility mode. And this did work for many users as well. And this is what we have to do. Okay, over here, this is the change which you have to do. Now we just have to uh, go back. Now after that, I'm gonna skip this because we have to show the next step. So try this two steps, change the online free, uh, free uh, running versions. I mean, you have to change the turn of online featured options, which I did. And once after that, you have to try with running the game over here on this that is you have to run the game on windowed mode that is what you have to do let's move to the next one that is all about you have to try with installing the epic games launcher and you have to keep it on while playing the game if it's not working then try just quit it so over here we are having the epic games launcher already so we don't uh, we we don't have to download it so i'm already having the epic games launcher so what i have to do is when i'm trying to launch the game i have to open the epic games launcher here then try to play the game and uh, after if if you're still after opening the epic games launcher in the background and you're trying to play the game if you're having still issue then what you have to do is just close this there is no point of it okay just close everything and i, I don't know how it is related but this did work as well moving to the next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for running the game on dedicated graphics card just go over here in the search you have to search for graphics settings just click over here now from here, it's already added, I think. So we just have to scroll down and navigate to Returnal. So if you don't know how to add it, I'll show you. What you have to do is you just have to click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC. This is where the game is installed. So let me go to local disk and I have to go to program file x86. Keep on scrolling down. I have to go to Steam folder. I have to go to Steam apps. I have to go to common. Now from here, I have to go to Returnal. Now I have to just click this one and I have to add it. So it's already added. So that is why I'm not adding it. So if I scroll down, I'll be able to see this. So I just have to click on this. Now click on options. And what I have to do is I just have to, by default, this will be inlet windows to side mode. So I have to change this to high performance. Once I change this to high performance, I have to save it, close everything, try to play the game. That is what I have to do. Moving to the next step is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So if any files are saved, for that we just have to go to over here on, I mean this PC, go over here and go to the documents. If any files are saved over here, you will be able to see the returnal folder here. And if you see this, just delete the respective folder. Then you just have to go back and try to play the game from the scratch. Next one, we have to allow the game to Windows security. For that reason, we have to go over here search for over here on control panel now go to windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to return so i mean returnal so keep on scrolling down as it is in alphabetic order so keep scrolling and over here you will be able to find returnal now over here you just have to click on this one that is private and public both are there right so you have to click on this one and make sure this both things are checked and once it is done just try to play the game so if you don't know how to add it just click on allow another app now go to browse so from here go to this pc go to local disk c keep on scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down to steam now go to steam apps now go to common now from here go to returnal now from here go to this one and go for add it so once it is added, it is all good. So we have to try to play the game after this. Next one is all about, we have to do a clean installation of graphics card. That is what we have to do. For that, I'll be providing a link in the description for both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. 
So NVIDIA users click on the link in the description and go to drivers over here. Now from here, what we have to do is we just have to give all the details like your product type, product series, product, operating system, download type, etc. So the operating system should be Windows 11 and you have to start search. Now from here, you can see the version is 528.49 and we have to go for release date that is 23.28 that is on the February 8th, which is quite a few days back. And the both the 1064-bit Windows 11 is available, just download and install the respective one. Simultaneously, if you're on the AMD, you have to select the respective one from here. Now go to everything and go for submit. And once you submit with this one, try for downloading Windows 11 64-bit. If you're on Windows 10 64-bit, you can try each one of these and download the respective one. If you're on Windows 11 64-bit, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one and install it. After that, try to play the game. Parallelly, you have to do a step that is all about you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'm only having all the link here. So I'll be providing a link in the description. Just click on the respective link that will take you to this. Over here, as you can see, we are having two options that is x64, x86. So download this one. So because my PC is x64. So if you don't know how to check it, just go to settings, go to system at top left, scroll down and navigate to about option. And over here, as you can see, 64-bit operating system, that is x64 base processor. Just go there. Then we came to understood that. So just download this one and install it. And that is what you have to do. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out. And after that, there are a few more things. That is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. So that can be easily done over here. Just go to Returnal, right click, go to Properties. Go to local file, click on browse, which will very easily redirect it to where the installation folder over here, as you can see the path. So over here, we have to select the game, right click, go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. And over here, what we have to do is just have to check this. That is run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. And this is what we have to do. Now, next one is all about we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to roll back the driver so like i said in the previous video when the game is updated to graphic drivers for some users the issue becomes more trouble so that might be because you're on the latest versions of graphics card which is very later so that is causing the issue if that is the case we have to roll back the driver for that reason we have to go over here in the start now go to device manager over here we have to go to display adapters select the respective graphics card right click go to properties go to driver so there will be an option to roll back the driver. So here it's grayed out because I already did. So that is why for you it will be there. So just roll back the driver. Then that in the sense you will be previous versions. Then try to play the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about we have to update the windows. That is what we have to do. So windows should be on the latest version. So go over here in the search. Now we have to go to settings. Go to windows update at the bottom left. Scroll down and download and install if any updates are there, just download. If, even if KB updates are there also, you can go for the updates as well. And that is going to work for you. That is what you have to do. Now, next one is all about, you have to disconnect multiple monitors if it's already connected. For some users, you know, they might be playing the game on multiple monitors. So what we have to do is we just have to disconnect everything. After disconnecting the multiple monitors, what we have to do is try to launch the game. And this did work. For many users, this did work. Next one is all about we have to increase virtual memory. That is very important step and this did work for many users. Do just go over here in the search and go to over here. You have to search for uh, view advanced system setting. Now from here, you'll be getting an option like this. Click on settings. Now from here, go to advanced. Over here, click on change. Now you'll be getting virtual memory here. We have to give few values. As you can see, the automatically managing paging file size for all the drivers, if you select this, you will not be able to select the respective local disk. So it is very important. You should you should uncheck this. OK, so now you have to option to select the local disk. So here the local disk is where the game is installed. In my case, that is on local C because every game which I download from the Steam by default will be downloading on local C. So here what you have to do is if you're having multiple, uh, I mean, any other disk, for example, if it's on D, select the respective one. You have to select the disk where the game is installed. And after that, select the respective one, then go to custom size and select this one. Now we have to give the value that is initial size as well as maximum size. So initial size is always what uh, 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is always 
three times the total RAM. So we have to know what is the RAM. So we just have to go over here on the search, go to settings and go to system, scroll down to about over here. And now, as you can see, my RAM is 32 GB. So if you don't know how to check the RAM, do the same. Just do the same step and you will be able to know. So my RAM is 32 GB. So now I have to give the value for that. I need to do calculation for that. I need a calculator. So I have to go for a calculator. So first thing I have to convert GB that is 32 GB. I have to convert it into MB to, to convert this. It is very easy. Multiply 32 into 1024. 1024 is a basic value for the conversion. So that is 1024, that is around 1024, that is 32,768. So 30 GB, 32 GB means 32,768 MB. Now what you have to do is I have to multiply this with 1.5 times because tot initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM. That is 49,152. Now I have to give this value over here. Simultaneously, I have to go for next one, that is maximum size. That is 32 GB into 1024 is the basic conversion value that is 32768 some people keep on asking in the question what is 32 32 is the ram so in your case it might be 16 4 8 2 etc so do the necessary value now you have to multiply it with 3 because maximum size is 3 times the total ram that is 98304 so now go for this one give this one and go for okay and try to play the game and this is going to work as well so next step we have to make few changes in the in-game settings so we have to open the game so when we have to uh, do like this you know we have to lower the fps and all those things when few people try this this particular step did work it for them so that is why i'm, I'm doing the same for you as well so try this that is all about we have to turn off ray tracing we have to disable dlss we have to turn off the HDR and it is very important we should lower the graphics according to our PC's performance and also we have to lower the FPS at 60 or we have to lock it at 60. So uh, let, let the game get open then I'll show you. So now we have to go to settings to make few change. Let me go to settings. So first one, I have to go over here on video. Like I said, I have to keep the game on window mode. And here, as you can see, the screen resolution is 19201080. I can change this to lower or I can do according to it. So it's according to you what you have to keep. And uh, next one, go to graphics. Over here, we are having many options. So I'll keep this to low. So over here, as you can see, the vertical sync, I have to turn this off. Then the maximum uh, frame per second, I should lock this at 60. So let me lock this at uh, 60 over here. Okay, so uh, I have to turn off screen optimization. Then I have to scroll down. Over here, the ray tracer shadows, it should be turned off. As well as ray tracer reflection, it should be turned off as well. Now I have to keep on scrolling. So over here, as you can see, enable the HDR, it should be turned off. It is already off. You have to turn this off. And over here, if you go to DLSS, you have to turn everything at off. So a few changes is like you have to lock the, v you have to turn off the VSync. You have to lock the FPS at 60. You have to uh, turn off ray tracing. You have to turn off HDR and all those things. You have to try this out. So that is going to work as well. So these changes is very necessary to fix the issue so uh, once it is all done you have to exit the uh, i mean make the changes save it then exit the game launch it once again and the issue will be fixed and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye